King Songs and Gampo, who reigned in the 7th century, is renowned for several significant achievements. Introduction of Buddhism He is credited with bringing Buddhism to Tibet by marrying Princess Brikuti of Nepal and Princess Wen Cheng of China, both of whom were Buddhists. This led to the dissemination of Buddhist teachings in Tibet. Unification of Tibet King Songtsen Gampo is known for his military campaigns that helped unify various Tibetan tribes and regions under a centralized rule, thus establishing the foundation for the Tibetan Empire. Development of Tibetan Script He is believed to have commissioned the creation of the Tibetan script, which was a vital step in preserving the Tibetan language and culture. This script later became essential for recording Buddhist texts and historical documents. Construction of Monuments King Songtsen Gampo is also known for constructing important religious and cultural monuments, including the Jokhang Temple in Lhasa. This temple became a significant pilgrimage site for Buddhists. Cultural Exchange His marriage alliances with Nepal and China not only brought Buddhism to Tibet but also facilitated cultural exchanges between these regions. This led to the sharing of knowledge, art, and traditions. Promotion of Peace his diplomatic efforts helped maintain peaceful relations with neighboring regions, which contributed to the stability of his empire and allowed for the flourishing of culture and trade. These achievements highlight King Songtsen Gampo's role in shaping the history and culture of Tibet. King Trisong Detson, who ruled Tibet in the 8th century, is known for several notable achievements. Patronage of Buddhism King Trisong Detson played a pivotal role in the further establishment of Buddhism in Tibet. Under his rule, important Buddhist teachers and scholars, such as Guru Pamamsambhava and Shantarakshita, were invited to Tibet to propagate Buddhist teachings. Construction of Samai Monastery He initiated the construction of Samai Monastery, which became the first Buddhist monastery in Tibet. The monastery's architectural layout was designed to symbolize the Buddhist universe, and it played a central role in the development of Tibetan Buddhism. Translation of Buddhist Texts King Trisong Detson sponsored the translation of numerous Buddhist texts from Sanskrit into Tibetan. This effort was crucial for preserving and disseminating Buddhist teachings in the Tibetan language. Protection of Buddhism During his reign, he actively defended Buddhism against opposition from traditional Bon religion practitioners and other challenges. This support helped solidify Buddhism's place in Tibetan society. Establishment of Monastic Orders King Trisong Detson organized and established different monastic orders within Tibetan Buddhism, contributing to the organizational structure and growth of the religion. Expansion of the Empire Under his rule, the Tibetan Empire expanded its territory, including military campaigns that extended its influence into neighboring regions. Cultural Patronage King Trisong Detson's reign was marked by his support for the arts and culture, including the promotion of religious art and architecture. His efforts had a lasting impact on Tibetan Buddhism and culture, and his reign is often regarded as a significant period in Tibetan history. King Ralpakan, also known as Relpahan, was a Tibetan king who ruled during the 9th century. While there is limited historical information available about him, here are some achievements attributed to him. Continuation of Buddhism King Ralpakan is believed to have continued the support for Buddhism that was established by his predecessors. Maintenance of military campaigns. He is known to have continued military campaigns, maintaining the expansionist policies of the Tibetan Empire. These campaigns aimed to secure and consolidate Tibet's borders and influence in neighboring regions. Construction of fortresses. King Ralpakan is credited with building several fortresses along the borders of Tibet, which were intended to protect the empire from potential invasions. Promotion of Tibetan culture. His reign saw the continuation of support for Tibetan culture, art, and architecture. This helped maintain the unique identity and heritage of the Tibetan people. Development of Trade and Relations King Ralpakan is believed to have maintained trade relations with various neighboring regions, fostering economic ties and cultural exchanges. Legacy as a Warrior King Ralpakan is often remembered as a warrior king who upheld the martial traditions of his predecessors. It's important to note that due to limited historical records, some details about King Ralpakan's achievements and reign may be subject to interpretation and variation. King Langdharma, who ruled Tibet during the 9th century, is a figure associated with a tumultuous period in Tibetan history. 
His reign is notable for several reasons. Suppression of Buddhism King Langdharma is primarily known for his efforts to suppress Buddhism in Tibet. He is believed to have actively discouraged Buddhist practices, temples, and monastic institutions. This marked a significant departure from the previous Tibetan rulers who had supported Buddhism. Political instability. His reign was characterized by political instability and conflicts, both within Tibet and with neighboring regions. His suppression of Buddhism also contributed to discontent and unrest among the population. Assassination. King Langdharma's reign was cut short when he was assassinated. The exact motivations and circumstances behind his assassination are not entirely clear, but it is believed to have been linked to the discontent caused by his anti-Buddhist policies. Disintegration of the Tibetan Empire. King Langdharma's assassination marked the beginning of a period of fragmentation and disintegration of the Tibetan Empire. After his death, there was a power struggle among different factions, leading to a decline in centralized rule. Impact on Buddhism While his suppression of Buddhism was significant during his reign, ironically, his actions also led to the preservation of certain Buddhist teachings and practices. Some accounts suggest that Buddhist texts and teachings were hidden and preserved underground during this period of adversity. King Langdharma's legacy is complex, as he is remembered both for his efforts to suppress Buddhism and for the instability that marked the later years of the Tibetan Empire. King Tri Ralpahan, also known as Tritsu Ralpahan, was a ruler of Tibet in the 9th century and is notable for his contributions to Tibetan culture and Buddhism. Revival of Buddhism After the anti-Buddhist policies of his predecessor, King Langdharma, Tri Ralpahan played a crucial role in reviving Buddhism in Tibet. He actively promoted the reintroduction of Buddhist practices, monastic institutions, and teachings. Reconstruction of Monasteries Tri Ralpahan is known for rebuilding and restoring many Buddhist monasteries that had been destroyed during the anti-Buddhist period. This contributed to the re-establishment of a strong monastic presence in Tibet. Translation Efforts Under his patronage, numerous Buddhist texts were translated from Sanskrit into Tibetan. This translation effort was essential for preserving and disseminating Buddhist teachings in the region. Promotion of cultural and religious activities. Tri Ralpahan supported the development of religious art, architecture, and cultural activities. His patronage helped foster a renaissance of Tibetan culture and spirituality. Diplomatic relations. He maintained diplomatic relations with neighboring regions, fostering peaceful interactions and trade. This contributed to the stability of his rule and the flourishing of Tibetan society. Restoration of Tibetan Empire Tri Ralpakan's efforts played a role in stabilizing the political situation in Tibet and restoring some degree of unity to the Tibetan Empire after the fragmentation that followed King Langdharma's assassination. King Tri Ralpakan's reign is often seen as a period of resurgence for Tibetan Buddhism and culture marking a transition from the anti-Buddhist policies of his predecessor to a renewed era of Buddhist influence and cultural development. King Tri Sugda, also known as Tritsu Detson, was a ruler of Tibet during the 9th century. While historical records about his reign are limited, here are some of the achievements attributed to him. Continuation of Buddhist Support Tri Sugda is believed to have continued the tradition of supporting Buddhism in Tibet, which had been revived by his predecessors. This support included the patronage of monastic institutions and the translation of Buddhist texts. Maintenance of Stability His reign is associated with a period of relative stability and consolidation in Tibet after the tumultuous events that occurred during the time of King Langdharma. Cultural and Religious Patronage Tri Sugda is thought to have provided patronage for the development of cultural and religious activities. This included the support of Buddhist art, architecture, and other creative expressions. Continued diplomatic efforts. He is believed to have maintained diplomatic relations with neighboring regions, contributing to peaceful interactions, trade, and stability in Tibet. Preservation of Buddhist heritage. King Tri Sugda's reign is said to have contributed to the preservation and further establishment of Tibetan Buddhism as an integral part of Tibetan culture and society. Limited historical records. It's important to note that historical records from this period are sparse, and much of what is known about King Tri Sugda's reign is derived from later historical writings and oral traditions. Overall, 
King Tri Sugda's reign is seen as a continuation of the efforts to support Buddhism and stabilize Tibetan society after the challenges faced by earlier rulers. King Naima Gan, also known as Naima Gan or Namri Songtsen, was a ruler in Tibetan history. He was a part of the Yarlung dynasty and is recognized for his contributions to Tibetan culture and expansion of the Tibetan Empire. Expansion of Territory King Naima Gan is credited with expanding the Tibetan Empire's territorial boundaries through military campaigns. His conquests extended Tibetan influence into various regions, contributing to the growth of the empire. Ties with China He established diplomatic relations with the Chinese Tang Dynasty. This interaction allowed for cultural exchanges, including the introduction of various elements of Chinese culture to Tibet. Cultural Patronage King Naima Gan supported the development of Tibetan culture and Buddhism. He sponsored the construction of religious monuments and supported the translation of Buddhist texts from Sanskrit into Tibetan. Promotion of Trade His reign saw increased trade and interaction with neighboring regions, fostering economic growth and exchange of goods. Legacy of a Warrior King King Naima Gan is often remembered as a strong military leader who played a significant role in the expansion and consolidation of the Tibetan Empire during his time. This is end of first part of Tibet history in summary and second part will be coming soon.